Spot number two. So we just wrapped up in the, in the mountain streams. We were catching great brookies. We were having a great time. And we just split and we're going to another stream. Eric drove us down here about 30 minutes away from where we just were. And this is remote. We are in the middle of nowhere. I don't know if we're high up, if we're super low, but there's a river right to the right of me. And Earl, he ate it. He did well. So species number one on our Virginia trip is down. We caught a great amount of native brook trout. Now we're out here and we're going after species number two, some wild brown trout. So I'm excited, I hope you're excited. Zach, you excited? Absolutely. Uh, Eric's excited, I guess. But we're gonna get into it. I'll see you guys on the river. Fly fishing is definitely more than fishing. It's more of just escaping and really having a passion for it. Of course, when you're in your day-to-day -day life, you're at work, you have stresses, you know, you're sitting there worried about this, worried about that. When you're on a stream, you're not really worried about anything, you know. It's a lot more to it than just catching fish. It's more about being out here in nature and experiencing everything. That's the biggest part of it, in my opinion, is experience. Right now. They'll sit in some pretty shallow spots as long as there's some kind of cover. Good one. Oh, oh my! Holy! It's nice. Mm. Oh. It can even be therapy, you know, a lot of veterans from wars that come out here and fly fish and the past emotion you really slow down and think about that. You're not thinking about work or um, paying bills, you know, and everything, the way that fuel's going up and gas and everyday life is so expensive. You get out here on a stream. Ooh. Holy moly! That's how you know they're wild. <laughs> What is it? Another one of those baby fish. I was gonna say, is it a baby brown? Does that count? <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. Oh. That one? Oh, that's a nice one. Oh! My reel's not reeling. Yeah, you can strip it in either one. Keep it tight. Oh, 
bookshop. So I'm taking a little break. Eric's out there still fishing. It's hot, but the water's cold. I don't know what elevation we're at, but we get breezes every once in a while and we're just catching beautiful fish. Eric's already caught two brown trout and then I hooked up into a little brookie. But we're enjoying our time. It's really nice out here. And compared to any other fishing I've done, the precision, that you need and the knowledge of where to cast is just absolutely amazing and really intense and way it's way more of a workout than I thought it'd be. So I'm just taking a break. Zach, how you feeling? I'm naked. Zach's naked. Eric's making noises. <laughs> he lost a fish. We're having a great time. You can have a famous person write anything in a book, but yeah. it's amazing hearing it from somebody who actually, you know, oh, yeah, there's no face to the person on yeah. the book. And to someone who normally doesn't fly fish or doesn't know much about fly fishing in general, hearing someone speak about it so passionately and say the truths of why you're out here, why I'm out here, why Zach's out here recording us is really important. It is, it really is. I mean, there's... There's a lot of dumb shit I've done in my life, yeah. and I've, I've been party mode before when I was in high school, and that stage. Really, honestly, I don't know where I would be if I didn't start fly fishing and become a guy. Who knows? Maybe yeah. be in jail. Yep. It's a great way just to clear your mind and escape everything. So. Yeah. Okay, this is our last spot of the day. Eric, he's caught, you know, some good brown trout. We've caught brookies, but it's my turn. I'm chasing butter. I'm coming after you, brown trout. I'm looking at you. Uh, yeah, I want to catch some brown trout and we're at our last location, you know, right up the road from where we were just fishing. It's absolutely beautiful. You know, a little overcast right now, so the temperature's gone down a little bit, and we're still chasing the butter. I'm just gonna take the fly out of him and let him go. Whatever, he's good. He's fine. So, that was great. We concluded our first day of fishing out in Virginia with Eric Harvey. Do you have anything you want to say to the people? You know, I had a good time. I'm glad we could record it. And, uh, I think it'll be a pretty cool video. Definitely. We got we caught some great fish, some brown trout, some brook trout, some real mountain streams, some more low-key mountain streams. We're out in the middle of nowhere having a blast. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, man. That was awesome. I had a good time. His Instagram will be in the link in the bio. Okay. See you guys. And also, remember, 
Fly the worm. Now this is very important to me and Zach. Where is the best burger and beer 50 mile radius of right here? 50 miles is pretty far, but I would probably say at Blue Mountain Brewery or Devil's Back Brewery. Yeah. This seems a little a little bit gnarly, if I'm being honest with you. We got big storms coming in from the mountains. That location is compromised. Go, 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 go.